Hey everyone, welcome to another Playflow guide. Today, I'm excited to show you how Playflow can help you simplify your game servers for your games. We'll dive into the latest features and learn how to make the most of our platform. Let's get started. For today's example, we're going to be using a sample scene that I've created using Fishnet. You can feel free to use any, any networking library that you prefer and bring your own networking scene to use as well. So let's take a look at our multiplayer scene. I'll get started by pressing the play button in the Unity editor, running the server locally, and pressing the play button in my game, which is going to connect my client to localhost. So I have a pretty simple game here with a network character and a ball that I can hit around. So let's take a look at the networking settings. So you can see that my network manager has these settings and I'm using the Bayou Transport. Feel free to use any networking transport or protocol that you like as the settings are going to be pretty similar. You can see that our server is running on port 8383 and my client is connecting to localhost. Additionally, before we dive into Playflow, we need to make sure that we've selected the scene in our build settings. So make sure that your current scene is in the scenes list or Unity's build settings as, is, as shown here. Let's dive right into the Playflow settings and get started by deploying our game server. First things first, we're going to launch the Playflow plugin and we're going to get our token from the Playflow dashboard. You can see I'm already signed in and I can copy my API token for, by clicking this button right here. And I'll paste it right into the token box. Now I'll expand the publish build settings section and make sure that I choose the correct server scene. So I go in here and I can choose a multiplayer scene. And I'll upload my server. This is going to build the dedicated server version of your game and upload it to Playflow's backend. Once it's uploaded, we're going to be able to deploy servers anywhere in the world. Awesome, looks like our server uploaded and our server version increased as well. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the launch server section and I'll go right here and choose any location that I want to launch my Playflow server. In this case, I'm going to launch it in North America East. So that's where we'll launch it. And I'm going to press the start server button. You can see that Playflow creates a server in the US East region. That's the region I selected. And you can see that it has a launching status along with some other details on the free plan. The server is going to take a few minutes to go from a launching status to a running status and will only be up for one hour. For faster server deployments and dedicated servers that run all the time, upgrade to one of our paid plans. Looks like our server is now online and running. You can also view this by always pressing the refresh servers list to refresh your server status and view your server details right here. Now what we want to do is press the copy IP address button and go to our network manager and put it into the client address. This is where our server game client is going to be connecting to. When I press the play button, all I need to do is press the play button in my game, which just connects the client. And you can see that we're, we can run around, we're connected to our server now and we're all good to go. Let's see what else we can do with the Playflow plugin. We can get the logs of our server and we can view the logs of our game. You can see I have a log saying hello from my multiplayer game. And we can monitor the server performance. This is going to take you to the server dashboard, which will give you all sorts of metrics such as CPU, RAM, and inbound and outbound network usage. In the Playflow plugin, we can also update our server version. So to demonstrate this, what I'll do is I'll go to my network manager and I'll go in here and I have a print log script that basically logs this message right here. So I'm going to say hello from my multiplayer game version two. I'll press save. 
I go to play flow and I'll go ahead and create a new build version saying and we'll call it version 2 and I'll upload a new version of the server once the new version of my server is uploaded I can actually go ahead and actually view it in the build version tag right here I can see that version 2 is right here so I'll click on that and then what I'll do is I'll select the server I want to update and press the update server button. Updating it, an already running server only takes a few seconds. So if your server is already up and running, you can quickly make changes, deploy those changes, and connect and test those changes out very quickly. Here I'll press the get logs button and we can see that my log is updated. Hello from my multiplayer game version two. That is a quick overview of what you can do with the PlayFlow Cloud Unity plugin. If you have any questions or want to learn more, be sure to join our Discord. The link is in the description below. Subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and updates. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.